Packers four linebacker. Armstrong, back to pass. He's looking. He's looking for his man. Couldn't haul it in. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 30. One man backfield. Armstrong steps back to pass. He wants it all going long. And it's caught. What an amazing catch. First down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big time play there. Spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. First and 10. Ball on the 32 yard line. The away team come out of the eighth formation. The handoff on the counter. And he's hammered down. And not much going on that run. Yeah, not much is right. He didn't get the first down, didn't get out of bounds, and now the clock is a factor. The away team come out the shotgun. Rolls to the left, fires a bullet out to the right. Number six with a takedown at the 18. And they beat the blitz that time and came away with a nice play. It's first and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. The away team set up in the gun. Jakes off a tackle, and he's stopped behind the line. That's a two-yard loss. The away team call for a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. Second and 12 coming up here. Seventh play of this drive coming up. Morris lines up for the field goal. It's up. And he hooked it left. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. First and 10, ball on the 25. The away team, line up with two tight ends. Under heavy pressure, fires a bullet over the middle. Touchdown! Here's another look at the touchdown pass. This is a great job by that receiver to get open in the end zone like that. The quarterback sees him and hits him for six. He hits the PAT. Well, the offense did their part. Now it's time for the defense to take over. And this is a very high pressure situation for an offense to face. If you don't score a touchdown, you lose. First and 10, ball on the 25. They line up in an eye. Number 11 tosses to the left side. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Second and nine. Ball on the 24-yard line. Number two is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Back to pass. He passes it. He's got it. Touchdown. They went deep there, and did they have good luck with it? Well, I'll say that was a great touchdown catch by the wide receiver. And he tacks on the extra point. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two.
It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Hurricanes come out in the ace formation. Number 11 back to throw. Complete. Play brings him down at the 11-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. Miami comes out with an eye formation. He drops back. Gives a little pump fake. And he dropped it. The pass falls incomplete. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 11-yard line. Miami sets up in the eye. On the ground, left side. Gets past the tackler. Play with a takedown at the five-yard line. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. Number two lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Number 11 running the option. He fakes a pitch. Touchdown! How about that one? Nice call by the coaches here. You use your bread and butter when you're near the goal line. If this guy's the bread and butter, then the offensive line is the meat. They open up the hole for him to score, and without them, you got yourself a pretty plain sandwich. And he hits the PAT. Let's see if they can answer the call here. Well, the big thing here is patience. There's not a game clock. You've got a fresh set of downs to work with. You just got to take your time and don't risk turning the ball over. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. Armstrong drops back. He throws it. McCoy with a catch. And they make the stop at the eight-yard line. The wide receiver picks up good yardage that time. Four three defense. Drops back to pass. Look, lets it fly. It's dropped. That's twice now they've called that pass play. Defense did a nice job here of forcing the incomplete pass. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Back to pass. Now he's scrambling. He unloads it. And down he goes at the one. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really liked the good clean routes they ran on that play. The away team come to the line with their jumbo package. The fullback bangs his way into the end zone there. Boy, I'm a big fan of giving the fullback carries down near the goal line. He's so big. Who's going to stop him? Yeah, you're right. Good play calling there by the coaches. He drops back, under pressure, looking. He's on the run, throws it out there, and he can't hang on to it, and they fail to convert that time. Let me say something. This is not a good call here. They Well, it took overtime, but we finally got her done. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? You know, this was a classic example of a team coming into a game unprepared, thinking it was going to be a blowout. Miami did not bring their A game today, and it almost cost them this football game. Just ask their coach what he thinks about going into overtime against a much weaker opponent. He'll tell you the same thing I just told you. Thanks for watching this game of NCAA Football 2003. The final count in this one, Miami 21, the away team 20. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.